Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a Hush haul. Yes, Hush, the website that has incredible deals. In fact, I have done a couple videos. I think I've done three total. I'll be releasing my third most likely before I release this video. So anyways, I've really been impressed with the Hush website. It's got amazing dupes that perform really good against their more expensive counterparts. So what I did was um, I've recreated the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance, the ABH. Who was the one everyone was having an issue with? Subculture. And I did um, Huda Beauty's Rose Gold Palette or Rose Golden Palette. So anyways, just want to let you know those videos are out there. You can see how I do one eye compared to another. And for the most part, you can't tell there's a difference. In fact, the products that I ordered from Hush really hold up very well against their much more expensive counterpart. So what did that mean? It meant I have to go and try everything else. Not everything else. I did not order everything. Don't worry, Rob. I did not order everything. So I'm going to show you some of the palettes I did purchase. So this one is from Bad Habit. This is their Inferno collection. It has basically 12 colors. This looks like several palettes because we had several, several palettes that went out last year. Um, Urban Decay Heat, Naked Heat. We had one from The Balm. We had one from Tarte. We had one from, I'm drawing a blank. So what I'm gonna do is probably on this one because there's so many companies that came out with a palette that look like this. I'll probably just do swatches on that one. I may do an eye to eye, head to head um, on the Naked Heat because that was my favorite out of all of them last year. So we'll see what we'll do. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you wanna see with that one, put them, put them below. I wanna hear your suggestions. Okay, so the next one is also from Bad Habit. This is called Solstice. So this one reminds me of one of the Natasha Denona palettes, and which was called the Sunset palette. So hold on, I've got it here. I put it away in a box, which you know makes it a little hard when I go to try to put them next to each other. So one of my upcoming videos will be uh, the Natasha, woo, how about that mirror? Uh, the Natasha Denona palette against the Bad Habits Solstice because I think that one looks really close together and I do enjoy the Sunset palette. So we're going to see how these hold up next to each other in a video. So I'm giving you guys a hint on what's to come on my channel. All right, so then we have this one's from Beauty Creations. It's called Tease Me. I know I have a palette that looks like that, and for some reason I can't remember the name of it. So work with me. I'll find it. I'll find it. For some reason I want to say it's got to be a Too Faced. Yeah. But the Tease Me has some freaking hilarious names, like um, Tempting, Orgasm, Sexy, Please Me, Dare Me, Lust, Desire, Nudes, Seduce Me. I mean, who doesn't want that palette? It's got all kinds of nice little words on it. Okay, then next, this one is from Face Candy. This one is called Unicorn Glow. So I do have some highlighters that have these colors in it. So I'm just gonna pull my different highlighters and maybe do a face-to-face -face or cheek-to-cheek -cheek highlighter to highlighter off. So we'll see how I use this one. Haven't quite decided how I'm gonna use it yet, but you never know, you never know. All right, so the next one is the Athena palette. And hold on a second, I wanna say Athena. Mm, yeah, this could be a dupe. Okay, so the Athena could be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Oh, how about I get rid of that? So similar colors maybe, maybe not. This might also be a dupe for one of Huda's other palettes. And y'all know that 
I'm still not totally settled yet. So if it's not the the Natasha Denona, I want to say that I've got a Huda palette that matches this, and I'll I'll pull that out. So whichever one is the better match, I'll do a head to head on that one. Then we have the Ocalon Amazonian Clay Palette. It's a 20 color palette, and I do have a Tarte palette that is similar to this. So we will be putting Tarte's palette up next to this one to see how we're doing. Again, I'm probably boring the hell out of you guys with all these dupes, but it's been absolutely fun because I wanna help my ladies and gentlemen save money. Um, because these palettes, these name brands are so expensive, but if you can find a good dupe that like does is great of a job, why not get the dupe? No one's gonna, it's not like you carry around your palette all day saying, okay, everyone, today I'm wearing Natasha Denona. Um, so how does Natasha look on me? No, no one looks at that. Although, I mean, you know, there are, there are definite palettes that when you wear them, you can tell who they probably came from. But at the end of the day, if you get a dupe that can hold up to someone that is a lot more expensive, why not? Okay, so this next palette is called Midsummer Night. This one's by Bad Habit. Bad Habit seems to have like some killer dupes. Now this one kind of reminds me of a Lorac, 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 Potato, Potato. Hell, I can't pronounce that either palette and I don't have the Lorac one that I think this looks like so I'll probably just recreate a look just for recreate a look. How about create a look Amy? I will be creating a look with that one. Actually I bought that one for my sister-in-law so who knows maybe she wants to do a video with me. You never know. You never know with the two of us. Okay so what other one did I get? Supernova. Never mind. Supernova is the one that looks like Natasha Denona. Let's do that one. Oh yeah, this was the dupe for Natasha Denona. So check out those. It's a smaller palette, um, but the colors are very similar. So we're gonna see how those two hold up. Maybe I'll do that this week, who knows? Okay, so when you order on Hush, if you order more than $30, you get to like spin a wheel. I got to spin a wheel, and a couple of the things that I had gotten from the wheel is some Kara eyelashes. I do like these ones. These are um, the hashtag WSP for Wispy. And then I had gotten a clean color Madly Matte lip gloss for free. So not my color, but well, really lip glosses aren't my jam. I just don't like lip glosses. Okay. So next, um, I love face masks. So I am constantly hydrating my face. Even though my face is oily, I want it to be hydrated. So every other morning I use, while I'm in the shower, I use a um, mask that is an olive oil hydration mask. At night, I like using masks. And so I went ahead, they had quite a selection on their masks. And these are daily skin masks, so that's awesome. But I got them in Honey aqua which is hydrating milk woo, milk which is moisturizing charcoal for pore care which not pore like as in bad p-o-o-r pore as in p-o-r-e <laughs> sorry just had to go there aloe which is soothing i've got a lot of red on my face so you know i can i can have some soothing and pearl which is a brightening and who doesn't want brighter skin so i did order those and then lastly, I thought these little things were so cute, and I'm gonna send one to my sister-in-law. Um, so she'll get this color here. It's called Mirror Effect Nail Polish. I figure if she didn't like it, then maybe my niece would like to play with that. But I did get it in a pink and a peach. So looking forward to trying those because um, I cannot stand to not have my toenails done once a week, every Sunday. They get done to get ready for the work week, and that's just what I do, because you never know when you're gonna need an open toe shoe. All right, so let's talk about the prices of these palettes. Like I told you, they're absolutely inexpensive. So the Face Candy Unicorn Highlight Palette, $10. The Inferno Eyeshadow Palette, 
Did I show you that one? I may have already used it. 12. The Mirror Effect Nail Polish was $5 a piece. The Tease Me Eye Palette, 16. The Ocalon Amazonian Clay, 14. The Bad Habit Supernova and Solstice. It was an eye shadow bundle. Those are the ones that look exactly, not exactly, well, exactly right now until I try it. Um, palettes to the Natasha Denona, um, Lila, and was it Sunset? Sunset palettes. So we'll see how those do. So that's about $12 a piece. The skin masks were $3 a piece. And like I said, mama loves some skin masks. Scares the hell out of my husband, but you know, I like it. And then again, the clean color lip gloss and the false eyelashes were free. So thank you, Hush, for sending some free products also with the little wheel of spin. So anyways, if you have any kind of thoughts on what I just put out or you want to see a video done prior to the others, because it looks like I have a lot of homework assignments, uh, please put your thoughts or comments below. I'm dying to hear from them. If you haven't used the Hush website for Bad Habit, Ocalon, or I'm trying to think who else I just mentioned, um, you, you really need to try them if you want to save some money because palettes between $10 and what was the most expensive, $14 or $16, that's affordable. So it's affordable beauty that everyone can enjoy and still feel trendy without breaking the bank. And that's what I really like about Hush. It lets people stay trendy without breaking the bank. Who doesn't love that? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of my upcoming homework assignments. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So let's make it a great one. Until next time. My husband was making fun of me the other night for that, so he'll get that joke. But until next time.